In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly disassemble and maintain your G-Force Arms GF-12 AR semi-automatic shotgun. First thing we're going to do is make sure that the shotgun is clear of ammunition, magazine's out, take the bolt back and visually inspect and make sure there's no shell in the chamber. We'll start by popping off the upper from the lower. We'll take our included tool and then just poke our takedown pins to the other side. Remove the rear, which should come out and the front, which will stay in place. We'll go ahead and separate the upper from the lower, just simply pull and pry apart, set that aside. I'll go ahead and start by taking off the end barrel cap. Just threads right off, set that aside. Take the forearm off, and then the forearm actually has this little cap inside it. So if that pops out, just go ahead and reinstall that. Set that aside. All right. There is going to be a piston shroud cap, so we'll undo that, take that off, set it aside. On this next part, we're going to, to apply down to pressure on the operating rod assembly to expose these little two-piece locking collars. Be careful not to lose these. Set these aside. Got one and two. And that piston cover should slide right off. Just pull it straight out. And then we have our gas piston. And now we need to remove the charging handle. And to do that, we'll apply light pressure to line the notch up with the bolt. And we're going to pull straight outwards. And it might stick a little bit. So apply just general pressure straight out. And it'll come right out. And then what we need to do is take our applied tool with the three knobs on it. And we're going to go ahead and loosen the barrel nut with a counterclockwise rotation. We'll go ahead and keep loosening with the tool until it's light enough pressure we can just unscrew it by hand. And to check that we fully unthreaded the barrel nut, we'll go ahead and pull upwards a little bit on the nut and make sure that we are disengaged from the receiver itself. We can go ahead and pull the whole assembly straight out and it's contained all with the bolt locked inside the chamber. To undo this, we're gonna to have to apply a little bit of pressure backwards and keep that pressure sliding it back until everything comes apart. I'll set my bolt aside and then slowly undo the pressure so it doesn't go flying off. Take our operating rod assembly, set it aside, our spring, and then our barrel assembly. Now we can go ahead and clean up the barrel where the gas ports are, go ahead and take a good copper solvent that's meant for firearms and use light brush strokes and rags to clean the carbon off. Go ahead and clean our bolt assembly and make sure that we clean it with the same carbon remover and re-oil where we see uh, little spots of wear so it's nice and lubricated, just a light coat of oil. Go ahead and clean off our spring and re-oil it, nice light coat. Our operating rod assembly, same thing. And then we really wanna take time and soak the piston with a good uh, carbon remover and clean that up and then go ahead and, and rag dry it and then apply a very thin coat of oil to this. Do not drench it. And then we'll go ahead and put it all back together. All right, and to reassemble, we've simply follow the reverse order. Go ahead and put our recoil spring back on so it hits the barrel nut. Take our operating rod assembly, slide it down over the spring. And then I really need to orient this correctly so when I apply downward pressure, I have flat to flat and everything is nice and parallel and lined up. This is important for when I put the bolt back on the operating rod assembly. So I take my big groove and line it up with the, the notch on there. And then it's very important that when we put the bolt back into the barrel extension that I have the extractor in the extractor cut. And then I'll have a nice even line over the top of this. This assembly right now is installed correctly and ready to put back in the upper receiver. So what I want to do next is I want to take my piston and if we want to switch out for the heavy load piston, this is the time you do that. And I have a very wide end that I'm going to put downwards against the operating rod. And then I have my piston collar. I'm going to push that straight down. It's going to have a little resistance to it. And that's when I need to apply slight downward pressure so I can put the two-piece lock and collar in place. And then I let the rod go forward and that 
piston cover, we'll go ahead and lock those two collars in place. Take my locking nut for piston assembly, screw it down, and make sure it's just hand tight. Now we need to go ahead and take our upper receiver, slide it all the way in, apply light pressure, and now I need to take the barrel nut and run it all the way down by hand and I'll apply light torque with our supplied wrench. I'm going to take our supplied wrench, apply a little bit of torque so I know it's all nice and tight, and now we need to install our charging handle. Now you notice that it has a key that actually faces up towards the top. We'll go ahead and apply a little bit of backwards pressure so I can get the notches to line up inside the bolt. Just wiggle it around and apply downward pressure. It clicks into place. I know that charging handle is set and the bolt assembly is locked together. Take our forearm and we'll orient this up with this rear pick rail facing up. Put my finger on top of that floating collar. Stops. Barrel collar and tighten it down until it stops. And there shouldn't be any rattling right now. That's how we know it's all nice and tight. And to reassemble the upper and lower, we'll simply put these back together. Push down and together until they meet. Push the front takedown pin. Go ahead and put our rear takedown pin in until it goes all the way in and stops. And our assembly is complete. We'll go ahead and perform a quick function check and make sure that everything is operating as it should. Go ahead and cycle it. We'll put on the safety. Shotgun does not fire. Safety off. Shotgun fires. And that is how you completely disassemble, maintain, and perform function check on your GeForce Arms GF12 AR shotgun.